Today we're going to draw a hippo using our three-dimensional objects. So instead of just drawing circles and squares, we're going to use... See, we drew circles and squares. We're going to use three-dimensional objects. So instead of a circle that's divided in half both ways, that's great for a two-dimensional object, but if we wanted this to look three-dimensional, we'd curve our line so it gives the illusion of being a sphere. And for our square, we would add some horizontal lines, and they would all be, I'm sorry, diagonal lines, they'd all be parallel to one another, and then we would need some lines parallel to this for the back. And we've got our cube. So that's how we're going to draw our hippo today using those kinds of shapes. So I'll start with the head and we're going to use a small oval. We're going to have a curved line come out here and then we'll draw the bottom part of the face using another oval and then we will have the open mouth of the hippo. It's really a, an oval. And we'll just darken the part that we need. And I'm going to give my hippo some cheeks. Now, I don't think hippos have cheeks, but I'm going to do it. So two ovals for the cheeks. This is that curved line that represents the, the center of the face. It's going to come down here. And it's going to curve around here. Just so you have an idea of what the, the shape of the face looks like. Okay, so we've got our cheeks here. I actually make those just a little bit bigger. And we'll put the eyes in two arcs. So they're being, the cheek is overlapping the eyes. And we'll put our partial circle in there. We'll shade those in. And we've got our nostrils, two arcs that we're going to make nice and thick. And then we'll put some arcs right above that. Curved line for the teeth. Curved triangles. And then we'll add some rectangles for the other teeth. And we'll darken this in just so we are, know exactly what we're looking at. Put an arc over the eyes, just to shape that face. It's going to come up, kind of dip down a little bit, and then back here. And then for the base of the face, it's almost like a square. But we won't, we're going to round it out. So we've got the base. And then the ears will have two curved lines that go up like horns. Maybe a little bit longer. And then a curved line to about there on each side. And then we'll curve it the other way to connect it to the face. And some curved lines to indicate the inside of those ears. I'm going to darken the bottom part here. And we'll curve it up, curve line, darken it to the bottom, and let's put another oval inside of the mouth, and that'll be the tongue. We'll dip down in the center, and then we'll shade the inside of that mouth. And then I'm going to shade that tongue 
just to help separate it a little bit from the rest of the face. Good. For the body, we're going to use an oval. We'll draw this lightly because we're going to add to that oval. So for the top part of the body, it's going to be like another oval in here. So then I'm going to lightly draw down and then we're going to curve this way a little bit and then we're going to curve around towards the back. Should be a little more round. Alright, so we've got a nice big animal here. Here's the, let me draw the bottom lip here, darken that in a little bit so we can see that a little more clearly. We're going to keep curving out. We, we want these wrinkles in there to really help describe what kind of animal we're looking at. And there's a nice big body uh, belly right here, so we're going to curve around a little bit here just to really, when you're, when you're drawing, you're always thinking about what you're drawing. And in this case, there's a lot of mass that gravity is just pulling down. So we want to make sure there's a nice arc there. We're going to put the legs in here using stick figures for now. Then we can always come back. And let's draw an oval that's going to be the bottom of the foot. Let's come over here. That'll be the leg closest to us. Then we're going to go up and over for this leg in the back. And the same will be over here. So that way we know exactly where we're putting these legs. A hippo's hind leg is going to curve out this way, curve this way, and then slight curve as it gets to the foot. Curve on the bottom using that oval as our guide. Arc. And then we're going to curve up. And it's going to go right into the body. We'll do the same for the back. Curve. Use the bottom of that oval. Curve up and curve up. Curve down, curve in, bottom of the oval, curve there. And then we'll curve the bottom of that oval, curve, curve. For the tail, we'll put an S, and we're just going to imagine what a tail would look like that's kind of flowing in the wind. We can shade that in a little bit. We'll add just a few more wrinkles just to describe what it is we're looking at. Actually, I don't want this here. We're going to shade in that belly a little bit. This needs to come down a little more. Legs are just a little long. We would want to shorten those, but for now we'll leave them. We'll put an oval for the shadow, and then we're going to shade that in. And we don't want to be super precise when we do that. When, when you're doing a drawing, it's nice to have some contrast. We've got parts of the drawing that are a little more tight. So some parts would be nice to have a little more loose. Again, it's that contrast that makes it interesting. And then we'll have a few lines randomly going up, some squiggles just to represent grass. 
And then if I wanted to shade this in, we would look at each part and shade it in. So if I had a sphere, I would think about the light source. It would be brightest here. It would be darker as it goes down. So this part is going to be the darkest. Lighter as it gets towards the top. And then a little more shade towards the bottom. And then there would be light that is reflecting from the ground. So this part we're going to leave light. The shadow gets darker as it gets towards the sphere. So we'll do the same thing when we shade in our hippo. We're going to treat this like a sphere. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a shading here. I'm going to connect it to this oval. This is a guideline, so we don't need to keep that. We'll do the same thing for this oval, the cheek. I'm going to consider this bottom part of the face is also a, a sphere. Let's treat it like a sphere. There's a sphere right here. There's a sphere here. We'll add some shading below the face. We're gonna, definitely going to shade that back leg nice and dark as it gets close to the body. And then as it moves down, it's going to lighten up. And I'm curving it around. This is, I'm treating this leg like a cylinder. It's not a two-dimensional object. It's three-dimensional. Do the same thing over here, this back leg. For this leg, we're going to shade it in towards the back. This belly, one big sphere. Same for the back. I'm going to shade the top part. And then in just a few parts of the drawing, we're going to darken it in just to make sure that it's clear. And generally, it's going to be towards the bottom parts to represent some shading. And I'm just going to go over anything else, adding little details here and there. And I'd say we have a wrap. Thanks for joining me. If you have uh, a suggestion for, for an animal you'd like to draw, let me know. And uh, be sure to check out my other videos. And I uh, hope you had fun drawing with me today. And I'll see you in the next video.